In a traditional robotic surgical removal of the prostate, the approach that we've used for many, many years, the instruments come in at quite a wide angle and the bladder and the front of the prostate are approached. And that includes the supporting structures for the consonant structure. The bladder supports play a role, the ligaments on top of the prostate play a role. Now, rectus sparing is about sparing that area. That is called the space of rectus. And if you spare that, you spare having to divide the supporting structures for the, for the consonants, for the sphincters, for the, for the ability to then get early recovery of your consonants after you've had your prostate removed. So the way that we do that is that we come underneath the prostate to start with. We come and take the, the prostate off the rectum. We, we define where the erectile nerves are and we define where the prostate is and then we work our way up and round and just shelling the prostate out and taking the cancer out, leaving all those important structures on top of the prostate and on top of the sphincter intact so that when you recover and when a few days later and the catheter comes out, many patients nowadays, many of my patients and patients that have rectus sparing get very little in the way of constant incontinence, very little in the way of leakage, hardly have to use any pads and are often massively surprised about how quickly that is. Now clearly there will still be some patients that will struggle and need some rehab and need some support but actually when you look at the population of patients that are having rectus sparing compared to having an anterior approach and this has been proved on on randomized control trials and we're just about to start another one to prove it still further is that the patients do better and they get their continence back earlier and I think that's really important it's something I'm so passionate about because it matters and these, these chaps the patients I operate on they they want that they want to get their lives back they want to get back to work they want to get back to their exercise their sport they want to get back on their bikes or go running and the, the drier you are the more the more control you have then the happier you are and that's got to be good <laughs>